figured I would uh, share this information with y'all. So everyone knows that you have to wick test, wick test, sometimes waste. It's, it's just a real pain to have, you know, multiple candles and wick testing. And if one doesn't work, you have to figure out how to recycle it, blah, 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 blah. Well, I figured out a way to do it with one candle and improve on uh, someone else's idea. So, was on YouTube and this one guy uh, suggested just make one wickless candle and, you know, uh, change out the wicks. Great idea. Been doing that for a long time. So, you know, I'm going to uh, show y'all uh, how to uh, place your wicks, center, dual wicks, whatever, every single time with a wickless candle. So, anyway, here we go. You uh, take your wick and uh, pretend this is a candle without a wick. I just didn't have one handy because all of them were either sold or being used, and I didn't feel like making another one. So, you take your wick. Measure it a little bit long. This one is definitely going to need two wicks, so this doesn't have to be perfect. So just do it like that. Oh, dog's over there drinking water. I guess he's going to drink the entire bowl. Okay. So you got your wicks. Now what you do is you take your wick setter, which everybody should have. I have. The dual and I have the single works with both now how are you gonna place your wicks perfectly so you know your test burn is going to be just like your final product well you can try mashing down and creating an imprint and then I found that see I'll see already you get like gunk in there and you have to clean it out it's uh, it's a real pain. So introduce this Dollar Tree metal skewer. Really, really thin ones. The cheapest ones you can find are usually the best and the correct size. So you take your whip setter, like so. Let me move up the camera a little bit. And you do this. It goes right down the center. Down. Move over to the next one. Down. Remove your wick setter. Place the caps because these things will get lost and you'll spend hours looking for them. Put them back in the box. And now, what you do is you find your holes, you go all the way down, you kind of wallow it out a little bit. Yes, I'm from the south, so we say wallow out. Kind of like that. And I have a little excess wax, so just take it like so. Clean it off. Done, done with that. Set that down. Now you take your wick that you trimmed, and if it's flat, just kind of do that. You push it down until it stops. Do the same with this one. Push it down, you'll, and, you'll, and you'll feel it stop. I like to do it a couple times just to make sure you hit the bottom. And if you have little hole right there you can either take your skewer and just kind of move it over it doesn't have to be perfect because as, as soon as you light it this hole is going to completely fill up or you can take your heat gun and just slightly melt it if you just slightly melt the inside you're not going to have any tunneling issues because the wax is going to melt real fast and then what you do is you can take one of these and cut it Done. Done. Okay. 
and you are ready for testing. Simple, done, again, simple. And if it doesn't work, blow it out, pull it out, let it re-cool or re-solidify, uh, whatever, start over. So now you can do all of your testing with one candle, as many wicks as you want. You can even do wooden wicks if you want, which it's really simple. You just take your wooden wick, make sure it's so solidified, and you just punch a, a bunch of holes in the center and, you know, make sure you use your centering tool to get the very uh, first hole centered. Then you do about one, two, three, four, I'd say about four on each side. So you're going to have a total of nine. Just kind of go in the center, move it around so you uh, create a pretty good cavity. Put your wick in there. Your Now with the wooden wicks, you are going to have to somewhat melt it, you know, uh, just to uh, keep it in place. But that's it. Simple. Done. Hope you all enjoyed this.